such a good day. It's raining outside. Oh, what's so good about today? Man, I'm going back to play my video game. Aww. Hi everyone, I'm Janelle of Tunes Unlimited. And that video was a short video that I created in Crazy Talk Animator 3. Utilizing a lot of the new features. Um, and I must say, I enjoyed doing it very much. And um, I'm really starting to get the hang of the new features and how to use them. And just being more creative on how I can expand my character's expressions. Um, so one of the things I did, which I have not done um, since I created these characters, was for the first time I did a video with both Little J and Olivia, who are, of course, brothers and sisters. And um, this was just a quick interaction of the two of them together. But one of the first things um, I was able to do was... As you can see, her face kind of deforms up in the beginning as she's kind of sucking in the air and kind of taking in a good day, which at least to her is a good day, not so much for Jay. Uh, these characters were regular G2 characters, and I converted them into the G2 Plus characters, which allows you to use um, more of the new features that came with CTA 3. And the most powerful feature for me by far, the one that I like the most, is the deform um, tool that you can use now with the face editor. And let me just slide this over. Actually, this is not the one. Let me um, bring it up and slide it over. In my opinion, this is the most powerful feature that has come out with CTA 3 because this allows you to uh, expand your character's expressions um, and make them do more without having to draw more and that's powerful that's being able to bend the facial expressions which before they had the deform tool but in in Crazy Talk Animator 2 but it only utilized the body and it was limited because it only had like four of these um, points that you can manipulate. But with CTA 3, they expanded that deform tool to the face and it gave it nine points. So now I can make her expressions curl and bend more while animating. And it's, it's, it's great. It, it helps bring out more of what it looks like to do keyframe animation. And it's just beautiful. Now the other piece that I did, this is the deform tool piece right here, but when her mouth slowly closes like this, that's another feature that recently came out. And that's dealing with the face key editor. And with the face key editor, this details button right here, when you convert your character into a G2 Plus character, you have the brow, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And from there, you can manipulate that same expression even more. So in this case, I wanted as she, her to exhale, I wanted her mouth to slowly close more. And as you can see, same sprite, which is beautiful, same sprite, but it's closing more. I could have made her chin go up higher or lower, you know, um, expanded her mouth. And the cool thing is these features work for every single sprite. So if I wanted to change her sprite but still manipulate it where the mouth seemed like it was closing, stretching, or bending, I could have done so. And once again... I did not have to draw it. That's what makes it powerful is that I'm using my same sprites that I drew with this character and I'm taking it to a different level without having to go back to Flash and make, you know, those modifications then import it back into CTA 3. I'm able to do it all within um, this application 
and this is by far this is what people have been looking for for a while and Volusion really did a good job of um, expanding on something that was already great so same thing with her nose let me just hide this back um, once again using the deform feature I made her nose slowly rise up with her eyes like she's taking in a nice deep breath and then once it was time to release bring it back down that is awesome and in addition to that let me just scan forward on this um, video I also enjoyed this this allowed you to do more of your voice key framing the way you want it if it was an expression that didn't look right that didn't fit with the sound I was able to swap it out I was able to add new ones um, I was able to delete it if I think it didn't apply so um, and, and double clicking on it brings up this feature which lets you pop in whatever one you want so if you wanted his lips to change for a different expression you know I could have done so so another thing I liked about this piece is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll back over to Olivia and kind of hide little Jay's timeline and I want to bring up her um, her voice clip and her facial clip and I want to scan down towards the end right here where once again this piece here having her face kind of deform up this O going from the regular size to me shrinking it down to this size all of these features is what makes the lip sync and stuff come out more and I think the possibilities are endless to what you can do it's now time to just bring out your creativity and get more out of your animation and you can do this with this new software so if you haven't picked it up yet grab Crazy Talk Animator 3 and get started having fun animating and see what you can bring out with your characters because this is some really good stuff. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you would like to purchase my product, head over to my store for characters, props, and scenes. If you enjoyed this video, here is a link to another video you might like from this channel. Thanks for joining and take care.